Okay, so, alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Barnagati, and welcome back, folks, one and all, to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and in the last episode, well, we're almost nearly there. So we just gotta take out a few more enemies, whatever, so forth, because <laughs> I always believe in taking them out. Yeah, we'll take out these guys, and then we'll take out those. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've been putting a little bit longer episodes. Trying to, anyway. Pretty crazy that the only spell she actually has besides uh, some healing spells is wind. That's okay. Or what, whatever this is called. Arrow, excuse me. Yep. Next project coming up after this game will be Zelda. And I'm not going to promise that on YouTube based on how much the poor, poor performance rating has been on the on the deal, but it will be on BitChute unless I get more views on this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take you down with Flare because that seems to be. See, the thing is, Flare is way more stronger than Meteor, even though the Meteor is supposed to be the strongest in Final Fantasy VII. It, it, it's just not all that, and even getting holy, which. It's prophesized you're supposed to be able to get holy. It's harder than hell to get. I have never in my life been able to get it. I have tried and tried and tried, but you can't get it. I don't know how it's even possible to get holy. And it's, it's just for Final Fantasy VII. Uh, of course we did that. I... Didn't mean to do that with her being stoned. But oh well, at least she's not stoned when she's out of battle. That's one thing you can count on. I'm gonna finish out these guys. I don't really I don't really do it this order. I usually just about take them out anyway. You know, it's the first time I've actually done it this way. Here we go. See 1013 is not bad because whereas before when I was using just white. It did kind of take them down, but like it, it depended on if there was like three of them. Flare, I believe, will just do the job, if I'm not mistaken, with three of them. Let's see what we got here. Cure and heal. See? There's no point in maxing it out. I can't stress that enough because, you know, uh-oh. And, of course, another trapped thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, so trapped that we can't use our spells unless... Oh. Let's use... You. Well, being blind is better than having to do. Come on, just die already. All right. Not this guy again. Why does it always have to be Beholder in these battles? Jeez, it's annoying. <sighs> Doesn't even go that fast. Yeah, unless I can take him out in one shot. Should have used probably my Scalloper, but it doesn't really matter.
Thank you. Thankfully, there, there wasn't a beholder in that one. <laughs> ah, this is a new formation. Naga and Gargoyle. Really? Really? Okay. If you want to put it that way, that's fine with me. Either way, you're going down, so it doesn't really matter. And, oh. Oh, no. There was another door I missed out on. Ah, here's the door we were looking for. There we go. This is the one I always usually have trouble fighting, finding, anyway. Okay. Oh, great. Nope. Nice. Nice. Okay. Don't ask me why, but I usually do. I'm like, wait, how, how do I get to it? And then it annoys me that I can't find it. And it literally has nothing to do with the chests back here. It has something to do with more of the fact that the enemy that I want to take down. So, anyway. I could have sworn there was more than one, but let's keep going. And will you back off? I just so annoying. Excuse me, there was two more doors. But anyway, so I'm going to take that beholder down with my sword, since that's more effective. Nice. <laughs> and now I can do this. Nope. Will you back off, darn fly? You're annoying me. Nice. Yeah, trust me. Getting rid of all these enemies won't be hard to do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Bonagazzi, in case this thing has split on me, so I don't know, again, so, you're kidding me, right? So, I want to take on the battlefields last, always, the last remaining of them. Ooh, three of these little suckers. Okay, never mind, then I could have sworn that the flare would take them all out. Either way, it doesn't matter. Ah, there's another switch. I will not be flicking just yet. So, there's another thing. You have to flick them with your axe. I don't remember if it said it or not, but either way. No, oh, no. We're not doing that. Not going to fall for that. Oh, of course not. Doesn't really matter if I get a game over. I'm not worried about it. I don't know what she's bothering bother, bother me. Get out of Just so you know, by the way, you might as well know that 
he actually has, as much as it's rushed in this game, as far as I'm concerned, there is two girlfriends in this game. So I'll tell you later on who it is. So, you know. Yeah, but it's supposed to take it out quickly enough. Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't really matter to me because we'll be using up seeds anyway. All right. You know who loves the, the, the number nine six number sixty nine? George Carlin. Famous comedian. Let's see if I go this way. Yep, this will pretty much wrap up this area. So all we have to do is take out these guys and we're pretty much done. Of course you're gonna always blind her. It's an annoyance, but I'm gonna leave it alone as it is because they're gonna try to do it anyway. Ugh, oh, three of them. Oh, brother. Oh, God, this is going to be annoying. Oh, of course, you're going to try to do Doom. There's going to be one of them. All right. It takes care of that floor. Now, we could do that, but it would just get us out of there. And we don't want to do that. No, 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 no. We want to get this done. I think we don't have to worry about any more being blind, but just in case. Also, if uh, I'm going to give you another hint and clue to the point of thing. Uh, you remember how the, the mini-bosses had two of them that we fought, right? Well, keep that in mind. Nice. Oh, let's see what we got. 1360. That's not too bad. I'm going to keep it with this figure from the R scale. Look at that. 220. Damn. Speed is 79. Oh, here's just gone up. Ooh, that's not good. Defense, 89. Accuracy, 92. Wow. Our magic has gone up a little bit with our sword. I think it matters because we don't use magic with swords, but in this game. I do know of one game you do it with, and that's Avion. <laughs> I think there's another one I, I can't remember the name of it now, but anyway. Uh, yeah, 115. Jeez. Pretty much. Dragon Claw has gone up by one point on magic, but other than that, you know. Everything is about 48 around there for magic, which is not good. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't know if you'll ever get bombs or whatever you call them to actually ever be at a certain amount of level for magic, but <laughs> just for this game, anyway. Hey, I'm an expert, not an expert on every little special, specific details that I wouldn't know about unless I discover it by hand, you know?
I think that's about all that we have to do. So yeah, I pretty much want to keep the bombs at like 99, no matter what, you know, for the, that's just for the final Ulta Delta thing. Okay, so let's go up here. We should be back on our way to go talk to Pazuzu. Before, nope, we're not done yet. Okay, but you missed a few enemies. That's all right. Let's get it over with, shall we? Nice. That we have like so many to, to waste because that's a thing. Ooh, nice. Stock of bombs or mega grenades. I mean, I mean they call explosives, but whatever. Same thing. Nice twenty one twenty two or twenty. I mean twenty one twenty. <laughs> I was actually watching that show called A Regular Magic or School. And the year was 2095. I did watch it in Japanese for a little bit, but I just couldn't get into it too much until the, the uh, English dub was released. So, you know, that is a good show. I absolutely recommend it. Ah, here we go. Now, what we want to do is... It might be a waste, but it's okay because we we don't have any more enemies to fight anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, Wahaha! You can't catch me. So, now. Now that we have all the enemies taken down. Now if you want him up here, you're going to have to keep trying to find him until... You know, you don't want to flip any switches until you've actually got him dead centered up there. There he is. Now he's on the fifth floor. You know, or whatever floor you're trying to go to, even though it's still kind of random, or it can be, once you flip the switches. So let's just keep going, shall we? Let's see what, uh, oh, that's the first floor. I've fought him on almost every floor so far, except for the seventh floor that I can remember. And I'm not really trying to go for a goal or anything, but I just want to see where we can get him to land as far as, um... Uh, Trying to get him to move. It doesn't really matter what order we do it in, but we will do it. Okay. Uh, I missed it somewhere where I was supposed to get to... There we go. This is going to be nuts. All right, <laughs> we're gonna keep going until we get around to the fifth floor here, because this is just becoming in quite a, increasingly annoying. I need to get to the fifth floor where he's at. And by the way, that's this thing up here is an actual elevator. If you can't tell, 
And up there, it's an elevator. It means absolutely nothing because even after we defeat Pazuzu, it's just like it's only a one-time thing, like during the plot line. Otherwise, it doesn't really do anything for you. Okay, so where in the hell are we going? We're supposed to be going to the fifth floor, right? Should we go this way? Come on, you freakish bitch. God. Okay, we're at the sixth floor. It's not what we want. I gotta find the fifth floor. I wanna see if I can't get this idiot just to go on up to seventh floor so I can knock him out up there. Okay, this is not what I meant by the fifth floor. Damn it. This is so freaking annoying. Fucking game. Stop being a bitch. Let's get this over with. Okay. Fine, we'll go this way and see what the fuck happens. Because this is bullshit. Okay, so we went up to the 7th floor, which is what I want him to go to. If I can ever get him up there. Of course, I had to go to the 6th floor like a fucking dead cheese, but... Okay, if I can just get to the fifth floor from here, that would make me happy. No, of course not. I can't get to the way we want to get. I know there's a way to get there. Damn, I've got a headache. Let me just stop it. I'm not used to getting up this early, but, you know, whatever. Let's, let's just keep going, shall we? Fuck this bullshit. Come on, game. Don't be an asswipe. Let's just do this shit, all right? Game. Seriously. You're starting to really annoy me. Game, I'm gonna be I'm going I'm gonna smack you. You ain't gonna like it when I smack you. Game, stop being a dumbass. Let me find floor. Pit floor. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, man. You're making me look like a Fucking ass when you're doing this shit to me. Not that I really care about my roof. Ah, here we go. Finally. Jesus. Okay. Whoa, you can't catch me. Okay, so that will leave it white. I don't know why it does that. Some areas are dark, but whatever. So let's go up and see what happens when we go up. If he's at where I want him to be at, it should be great. Nope, he's not up here. I'll be a dead cheese son of a bitch. Well, at least I don't have to fight any monsters to get to this day. So he's probably now at the third or fourth floor, if I would have to suggest. But anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. Till then, later.